Thank you, IOC, and thank you, everyone. We are very, very excited and honored for you guys to join this historical day for Alibaba. Uh, President just said that we met last year, and uh, you know, it's a great opportunity for me to meeting him last year. So I talk about the digital and how we can make an Olympic more digital. But he inspired me by the uh, Olympic spirit and the Olympic agenda 2020. That was something that get more young people involved because for Alibaba, our vision and our strategy, we believe 10, 20 years later that Alibaba should focus on happiness and health. We believe that we should make more young people join the sports, make the world happier. So we share the same values, same vision, and we think that Alibaba definitely can uh, bring a lot of value to the Olympic Games, Olympic families with our technology, cloud computings, and uh, internet uh, technology that can empower that uh, more young people to reach and interact with the Olympic things. And especially, I think today, our cooperation means a lot. You know, I'm a believer of globalization. Olympic is the spirit of globalization. Make the young people connect to each other. Make every country connect to each other. And I think the Olympic spirit is about teamwork, about working together, about a peaceful, fair, and nice competition. This is what we want. And this is what we, Alibaba, want to join the force together with Olympics. It's our great, great honor. And this is a long time commitment. We are proud as the first Chinese company that have uh, three terms, you know, uh, 12 years commitment. Uh, and we were, sh we were making sure this thing work and we were sure to make this thing help. And I think Alibaba is a company, we we're, we're found in China, but we are built for the world. So this is, we have a global vision and with Olympics definitely can help our, empower our dreams and our technology can hope that can empower the spirit of Olympics and empower the Olympic ga Games even better. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Ma. And I know there's a beautiful Chinese tradition of exchanging gifts to seal a partnership, and we would be amiss not to live up to that. So if I could please uh, welcome you on the stage to bring the gifts. Our, our gift uh, has a, a certain uh, a symbol. It's uh, the, uh, the IOC President's Trophy, and uh, the theme of uh, the trophy is uh, the sky is the limit. So maybe the sky the only limit uh, for our cooperation. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And this hour now but is maybe we yeah, we change it. <laughs> Our gift is that we believe small is beautiful, small is powerful. So we'll make the small people empower them and support the world. Thank you. Thank you. We two small people. <laughs> <laughs> With a big heart. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Um, before I open the floor for questions, uh, let me pitch in with one question myself. Um, Mr. Sheng, as the uh, CEO of Alibaba Group, um, the gentleman already hinted to it, but could you explain a little bit more what will the technological benefits be for this from, uh, from this partnership? Well, first of all, we are Alibaba Group are very honored to be the partner of IOC and to to empower the IOC to experience a successful digital in innovation in the fast changing digital world. And uh, our, uh, as uh, President Parker said, actually our uh, collaboration will in, uh, fit into three areas. The first thing is that cloud service and uh, Alibaba will be the partner of IOC in cloud service and uh, by leverage our, our uh, infrastructure build up in cloud business, we want to help IOC uh, Olympic Games to be operated in a more efficient way, in a more effective way, and in a more, more security way. So that's the first one we want to we work together. 
A uh, second actually is that uh, uh, Alibaba is famous for uh, building up the e-commerce platform. And we today we serve in China and in the world, we serve um, about four, uh, 500 million people, consumers. And today, how, these consumers actually, they want to uh, be part of Olympic and they want to participate. So how to make it available for the Olympic licensed products and the sporting products for, for the people, not only in China, but also in the world. So we will work to closely together to, to make this happen. And the last one actually is, a, is the digital contents. And the Olympic has a lot of, a very, as a fan of Olympic, I actually, I can remember very clearly when I was a kid and a lot of very important moments and how to make these digital contents available for, for generations of generations. So that's all about the Olympic channel and uh, we will work together with uh, IOC to build, a, build this uh, digital platform, Olympic channel, to make it available for Chinese audiences. Thank you very much. And Mr. Luma, let me ask you, um, it was said here on the panel, this will help to reach more and more people. So how will this change the way you engage uh, with your fans, with Olympic fans? Well, I think there's a couple of ways. I mean, firstly, um, the, uh, the Rio Games was uh, consumed, uh, the, the video coverage of the, of the Rio Games was consumed by over half of the world's population. We seek to continue to, to, to grow that. And um, we don't want to just reach the people uh, the Olympic fans during the two weeks of the Games, but also 365 days of the year be a, be a brand and, uh, and a platform that's available for them. So um, Alibaba's stated aim uh, has been to reach 2 billion consumers by 2020 through their uh, e-commerce e platform. So we hope to be able to harness that to create a truly global e-commerce platform whereby anyone in the world can buy any type of uh, Olympic uh, licensed merchandise. Uh, for that to, to satisfy their own uh, connection with the games. And of course, as Mr. Zhang mentioned, we're very excited also to look at the collaboration in terms of creating a truly localized and locally relevant Olympic channel. Uh, if you remember, this was one of the two, uh, with, with the e-commerce platform, one of the two critical um, uh, goals from uh, Olympic Agenda 2020. So they will help us create a truly localized Olympic Channel in China, which will reach the rapidly growing 700 million uh, online uh, digital uh, consumers uh, in, in China. Thank you very much. Uh, let's open the floor for questions. We have microphones. Um, so I think we have the lady here, the two ladies in the front row, if you could get a microphone here. If you could state your name and organization, please, for the sake of our online audience as well. Thank you. Uh, Ivana Kutusova from CNN. Mr. Ma, can you put a figure on this deal? Uh, how much is it worth to Alibaba? And second question, is the Alibaba brand going to be officially connected to the Olympics in the future? Thank you. And could you pass on the microphone so we get the next question as well? Okay, so figure probably I should ask our CEO, because for me, I'm, I'm pretty interested about the mission, value, and the same goal, and how we can create a value inside. But Dan, you want to ask? Yeah, actually, the, the, being the partner of Olympic, I think this is the invaluable and uh, in terms of the influence, influence in, in terms of the uh, brand, uh, brand image in the global stage. But more importantly, uh, we don't want to, Alibaba, we don't want to be a, a, another sponsor uh, to IOC, but we want to be the truly partner to empower IOC to be the game changer uh, in the in the Olympic Games in the in under the Olympic agenda uh, Olympic agenda 2020. So that's the value we see uh, from from this partnership. Yeah, it's true that uh, when we discuss about this thing, when when this idea came and um, my meeting with uh, President Park last last year, that we all are fascinated by the things that we can work on together, we will say hands in hands with IOC into the digital time. This is to us is more, much more important. And of course, we're enabling uh, IOC, but IOC is also enabling us, our dream that being a global company with our brand, all the services. Thank you.
please. Hello, Mr. Ma. I, I have to say that it's very difficult to have an interview during Central Davos. Uh, I have smiled at you uh, at least three times, but you always ran away. But thank you for the prize. And <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, I, I want to ask you one question that, you know, you know, creativity is very important in such a society, especially during the fourth industrial revolution. And what's your opinion about such uh, creativity, especially for the young people? Thank you. You mean credibility? Yeah. Okay. <coughs> creativity. Yeah. Oh, creativity. Okay. I I think you know the uh, in the industrial time we make everything that is not standard become standard, and in the digital time we should make every standard of things unstandard. So creativity is something that can we can win the machines. And I think by working with the sports, sports is not like, uh, it's only about muscle. Sports is about brain, sports is about the creation. And I think we want making sure that Olympics, uh, that's uh, President Park, one the, the Agenda 2020, is that we want to get more young people involved. We want more creation inside in, in this game. This is, we feel that um, we will make sports more cre creative. We should make sports which my belief, right? I, I don't know. It's, it's the if you want to be successful, you should have the EQ. But if you don't want to s fail, you should have the IQ. But if you want to be respected, you should have the LQ, the Q of love. And these three Qs by sports is the best way to train your EQ and LQ. If you do not respect your competitors, if you do not respect your team, you will never have a chance to win. So this is what we love about this is creativity that I hope I asked your question. Thank you very much. We have a question from the gentleman there, uh, Rana, Rana, the gentleman here with a blue shirt. Yes, excuse me, You'll, we'll come to you in a moment. All right, thank you very much. I hope I'm a gentleman. Uh, my name is Marco Zatterin from La Stampa, Italy. You'll forgive me if I blunt, but I have two very short questions. First of all, uh, how do you like Donald Trump? And second question is, can you really create, did you really promise to create one million new jobs in the US? Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. This press conference is dedicated, uh, by the way, to a partnership between the IOC and Alibaba, but... Uh, <laughs> and yeah. you're, you're very welcome here. Okay, just very short answer. We had a very productive meeting and he's very open-minded, listen to my suggestion on small business trade. And he's very open-minded. And the second is that I'm serious because I'm not, not talking to a normal person. I'm talking to president-elect about creating jobs. If that is not serious, it's going to be the joke. Thank you. Yes, um, could we get the phone to the gentleman there? Yes, I, I noticed you by now. We'll, we'll get to you. Hi, uh, Cao Xie from Phoenix TV. Um, actually, uh, gentlemen, uh, Phoenix TV is broadcasting the, this pro press conference now. So for better communications, um, we should buy our hundreds of millions of audiences in China. Can, may I just ask a question in Chinese? Sorry about it. And Ma Zhu Xi, you are. I am Fenghua Weishi and Fenghua Wang's reporter Cao Xie. I want to ask you about the question of the Chinese issue. Now, I know that this is the呃，明天呢，就是特朗普就任美国总统的日子。那您之前也也是为数不多的，同他有见面机会的中国企业家。那您之前也提也提出了，就是说希望看到中美之间不要有贸易战，甚至是尽可能的有一切代价来回避贸
<laughs> yeah, could you wait for the microphone, please? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, 我来自新浪财经，我叫王倩。English, so make oh yes, I come from yeah. 新浪 finance channel, 新浪 dot com. I have only one question about sports. Uh, Mr. Ma, will you increase your investment on football, on Chinese football, or all around? Thank you so much. Thank you. Will I increase my investments for football? Well, I think a lot of people know that I know very little about soccer and uh, football. The only one I, I competition I joined when I was a sophomore in the, in the university, I kicked the ball into my own goal, so, <laughs> <laughs> so I give it up. But I think I like for, uh, sports. The reason, especially team sports, because that will make the team work. China, young people, we only have one child of family in the past almost 30 years. One child of family, the children are always the kings and the queens. We have to make them to work like a team. So this is I'm interested in about sports is t about teamwork, and uh, not I don't know because personally, and company company you have to ask Daniel that whether we will put more money on the spell, but definitely we will put more money on the sports to making sure sports can make people happier and healthier. Thank you. Thank you very much. Can we get the microphone to the lady with the red dress in the middle here, please? <laughs> Finally. All right. Uh, <laughs> I'm Sung Hee Lee, SBS CNBC from South Korea. Well, actually, next Winter Olympic is held in Pyeongchang in South Korea. And their uh, Korean government and Korean company has been prepared a lot for the next year. Uh, so what do you guys have a specific plan or any do you guys even have a plan? It's like a opening next year right away. So I want to hear what's the specific plan for the next year. Thank you for the question. I think uh, she said, do you guys? So I guess it, it goes to everyone on the panel. <laughs> <laughs> yes, please. Th thank you very much for the question. Yes, you're absolutely right. The, uh, the, the uh, next Olympic Winter Games in Pyeongchang uh, uh, will kick off in just uh, o over a year. So um, remember, this is a long-term um, agree uh, agreement going through tw uh, 12 years through to uh, 2028. So we will immediately start implementing and working on all these various areas, whether it is um, the, uh, the, uh, the, the efficiency and uh, increased security of the Olympic Games organization through the cloud, the e-commerce platform, the Olympic channel. And so as much as we can, we will also bring, try and bring benefits in the very short time available to the, uh, to, to the, to the uh, Pyeongchang Games. But uh, I think we should make clear if this was uh, the background of uh, you know, your question that uh, there a lot has been uh, in invested uh, by uh, Korea. Uh, we, will, we will offer, but we will not impose uh, uh, there, of course, uh, for, for Pyeongchang. So uh, the, the preparations, which are going uh, pretty well, uh, therefore, for Pyeongchang, uh, they will continue in the, the way uh, they, they do. So uh, this uh, cooperation uh, will uh, offer added value uh, to, uh, to, to the preparations. Thank you very much. Uh, the gentleman here and the lady next to him, maybe we can get two questions together. Hello, uh, Sam Schechner from the Wall Street Journal. This is a question for Mr. Ma. Can you tell us what uh, the acquisition plans are for Alibaba Group in the coming year? Which areas of your business and geographically which regions? Uh, <laughs> I, I hope the IOC is not the target. <laughs> <laughs> so let's let's hear the second question as well. Uh, hi, I'm Dan Wei Wang from Tencent. Uh, you just uh, talked about a year ago you started a dis discussion about this agreement. Would you please tell a little bit more about how you get know, uh, get to know each other and what's your major dis um, disagreement and how do you solve the problem? How do you solve the problem uh, when you discuss about this uh, partnership? And a question for Mr. Ma, what's your favorite Olympic Games? And a question for Mr. Bach, have you ever bought anything on Alibaba's platform? Just as a test. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. All very interesting questions. So we have the questions on acquisition from the gentleman from the Wall Street Journal, how you got to know each other. You already spoke about love earlier. And um, maybe we start with these two questions. Yeah, maybe I finish uh, my Wall Street question, right? Um, honestly, I'm not interested in that interest in acquisition. I'm interested in about partnership. Very important. So the difference between Alibaba Go Global and the uh, the other multinational company Global is that we want looking for partners and 
and empower them to be powerful. This is our, so we don't have uh, a specific plan, but I think about Daniel has it, but I, my plan is always looking for partners. Well, thank you uh, for this very kind question. You know, we are here to announce our wedding and uh, getting asked about the disagreements. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> there, uh, uh, actually, uh, I could not uh, see any any substantial uh, disagreements uh, that uh, when uh, such a contract is, is negotiated, uh, uh, it's unavoidable that uh, there are lawyers implicated and uh, they are very good in creating some uh, disagreements. Uh, but uh, what in, in, in the end, uh, there uh, was, uh, I think, uh, the, the, the red line uh, through all uh, these uh, negotiations uh, was in fact uh, that uh, we, uh, we share a vision. Uh, our uh, Olympic Agenda 2020 is uh, uh, about uh, leading uh, the, the Olympic Games, uh, leading uh, the, the IOC uh, into the digital age. And uh, in, in, in this way, uh, achieving uh, two major uh, goals of Olympic Agenda 2020. This is uh, to engage uh, better with the younger uh, generation and uh, mm -hmm. there uh, also uh, using uh, the different uh, digital uh, platforms and opportunities uh, to uh, motivate uh, young people uh, to, to play sports. Uh, you know, we want, uh, uh, as we say in, in, in the Olympic Agenda 2020, we want to get the couch potatoes off the couch uh, and uh, uh, to uh, make uh, uh, the young generation uh, familiar with sports, to, uh, to show them uh, that uh, sports is good for education, it's good for the health, but most of all, it's, uh, it's enjoyable. It's uh, part of the, the joy of, uh, of, of life. And the second goal is uh, to make uh, the organization of uh, uh, the Olympic uh, uh, Games more efficient, means also less uh, uh, costly, more secure, uh, to uh, have an even uh, better uh, knowledge uh, transfer from one uh, organizer uh, to, uh, to, to, to the other, uh, the, the being uh, able to offer uh, solutions uh, uh, to uh, the uh, organizing uh, uh, committees. And uh, uh, this vision, together with the vision of uh, uh, globalization and cooperation, was uh, what uh, was uh, determining, uh, I think, on both sides uh, for, for this uh, cooperation. Because, uh, you know, uh, sport was global. Uh, before uh, the world globalization in, in, in business existed. Uh, we are, uh, uh, the, the Olympic Games uh, are maybe the first uh, global uh, e e event uh, in, in, in the world uh, for, for decades. Uh, and uh, they are very much uh, about uh, cooperation. They are about uh, uh, understanding uh, different cultures uh, as an enrichment uh, to our uh, global uh, society and uh, respect not only respecting uh, the different cultures but uh, taking them on board uh, taking them as enrichment and uh, they're creating uh, an olympic unity in in all the diversity and uh, this, uh, together with uh, the overarching aim of, uh, of sport, to contribute to uh, uh, the uh, joy of life uh, there also, which corresponds uh, to uh, uh, Alibaba's uh, mission uh, about uh, better health and, and more happiness. Uh, this uh, was the spirit of uh, this, uh, of this uh, negotiation. And uh, this is why we, we both are uh, very uh, happy uh, today, because uh, we both uh, see the great potential to uh, make our, our visions uh, coming true uh, with this partnership. Thank you very much. We, uh, I think we have the time for three more questions. Please, the gentleman, if you could keep it short and uh, also say your name and organization, please. My name is Jamie Keaton. I'm a journalist for the Associated Press. Um, Mr. Ma, um, what is Alibaba doing to ensure that Olympics-branded items of merchandise that appear 
to be counterfeits won't be solved, sold through the e-commerce site. And um, for Mr. Bach, um, Alibaba was just last month put on a US blacklist of notorious markets for counterfeits. How concerned is the IOC about that? Just by way of example, a search right now for Olympic mascots on Alibaba.com seems to turn up results of products that look like they could be based on ripped off designs of earlier Olympic mascots. Do you have any concerns there? Yeah, can I answer the question first? First, we are dealing with more than 12 million small businesses around the world, especially that uh, most of the small business on our platform are from developer countries. And uh, listing more than 1.2 billion products on our site. So managing, and of course we have, uh, Danny just said, uh, we have uh, uh, 500 million buyers every, and every day through mobile phone we got 200 million. So this is a huge world, it's a virtual world. Like a real world, anything happen on the, on the real world happens on the virtual world. Governing and managing a, a, a world like that is not easy. All kinds of things. Situations like a fake products, counterfeit, we've been fighting for 17 years since the day we set up. We know this is the war fighting against the human greedy. You can never finish the war by single company. You can never finish the war by two years or three years. And I think today we have the world leading technology fighting against that. And we have put 2,000 people focused on fighting against. This is the largest anti-counterfeit team in the world. And we put the 1 billion IMB, more than 1 billion IMB every year fighting against them. So it's getting cleaner and cleaner. And I would say we are the leader on that. But of course, this thing cannot be finished within short time. But using our data technology, and I think we want the partners together solve the problem. Because now when we partner with the Olympic IOC, we know exactly who are the real, who are not real, and who done. With the data, we can trace who's buy, who's selling. So as I said yesterday, that it's easy to think a point, but it's difficult to clean all the dirty things within one night, especially the world has been big mess about counterfeit, not only in China, around the world. And it's easy, not easy to, to kill this human greedy, but we are confident. By working together, we will make a masterpiece. Trust me, this is something that I'm gonna fight for and our team gonna fight for centuries. And we will finish the war maybe in the next 10, 20 years with a digital, we'll trace who's selling, who's buying, who's transforming, who's doing that. And I promise President Park and IOC, we will clean the carpet and the rooms. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. And you know, maybe I can add that uh, just uh, because of uh, this uh, determination and all these measures haven't been undertaken, we are, we are more than confident uh, that uh, this uh, issue of uh, counterfeit will be addressed in a, in a proper way, because it's also in uh, in, in our uh, in, in our uh, interest. And but you know, on on the contrary, we we even see a potential to address uh, this issue uh, better uh, through a centralized uh, platform. Because uh, what is happening now is, uh, you know, how can, uh, let's say, uh, uh, the uh, National Olympic Committee of Argentina uh, control counterfeit uh, and on, the, on the market in, uh, in Chile or uh, in, uh, in South Africa? Uh, because uh, the distribution channels, uh, uh, nobody knows and uh, they don't have access to, to, to the information. Uh, uh, if uh, with uh, the Olympic uh, e-platform, uh, uh, we have a, a centralized uh, a platform, and uh, then uh, the goods have to go uh, through this uh, catalyst, uh, it uh, can even offer us a, a better potential uh, to, to control uh, uh, this uh, counterfeit issue. 
Okay, can I finish one last sentence about that? <clears throat> Today, counterfeit and fake products, they are globalized criminals. So we have to work in together. I, re I think I IOC know the situation. We never hide because we are marriage. We tell each other everything we're good, we're not good. This is the way I think it's the right way that we work together, partner together, and do good things and solve the problems together. That's what we, we want. And we're encouraging all the people work together. Thank you very much. Uh, can we get the microphone to the gentleman with the red tie there between the two cameras? All the way in the back. Yes, please. Thank you. Um, I have a relatively relaxed question for both Mr. Ma and Could Mr. Could you Bob. also share with us your name and organization, please? Li Wei from Tai Xin. Um, it's perhaps a coincidence that uh, Ms. Uh, Jack met uh, President-elect uh, Trump uh, recently, and uh, Mr. Ba met Chinese President Xi uh, just, uh, I think, a few days ago. Um, I don't know whether you have any information on President Trump's preference or likings of sports, but we know for sure President Xi is very into sports, and especially soccer. Um, are you confident that with President Xi's enthusiasm, China can overcome its institutional problem in its sports sector? Um, from the commercial side, uh, um, Mr. Ma is on the commercial side, and how will you help Chinese uh, sports to be more professional? And from the institutional side, how will IOC help China to make the sports a more modern kind of um, existence there. Thanks. Thank you very much. As a German, I'm pleased to get so many soccer questions, but we're straying a little bit from the purpose of this press conference. It's sports. Thank you. Um, might you still give a brief answer? Do you want to say yeah. that? It's a very devil's question, very big, right? <laughs> <laughs> How can you change the world? Most of the time, as we change ourselves, the better. Um, well, yeah, uh, we are doing tiny things. We want to, as a company, as a commercial company, as an e-commerce company, as a company, have a lot of young people. We are thinking about we can do tiny things to change the institution of, uh, of China sports. And definitely by working with the IOC, uh, we are honored to be part of the IOC family. And then I think we will work with the government. It's, it's, it's well, honestly, when I was young, I think I can change the world. But now I'm getting 50 years old. I know change myself and change the people around us and giving support and empower those people who can do really good things is more important. The sports, I think Mr. Xi, as I know that he's, he loves sports, not only soccer. Thank you very much. Um, I'm afraid we have to close this press conference. You will understand as newlyweds, they would like to have some time on their own. Uh, <laughs> thank you very much for being here today. Thank you for all your questions. Thank you for watching. And thank you for everybody here on the panel. Thank you very much. Thank you.